What's up guys, this is OTC Prime and I am bringing you a setup video for World at War and this is for my OTC brothers um, who are basically new to World at War so I thought I'd help them out and just do this video really quickly so hope you guys enjoy this and so yep, let's get it on um, right, just gonna roll through uh, what I have so pause the video if you feel f if you wish Okay, so let's get, get on with it. Uh, I'm going to start off with the bolt actions. Uh, the Springfield is the most commonly used sniper in the game, just purely because the scope is unlocked at the start with it, so people are lazy and they don't want to bother with these. Uh, but if you do want to play this game and obviously uh, unlock the scopes with the other ones, it is well worth it, especially for the car. Um, so. Only down with the Springfield is it takes the longest to bring up the scope. The quickest is the Arisaka. Uh, but apart from that, there's no issues with that. It's very accurate, very powerful, very consistent. Uh, Mosin Nagant, um, very good, very powerful again, very accurate. Uh, only issue with it is its slow rate of fire. So um, if you're using it with no sniper scope, you're going to struggle with it at first. Um, but once you get used to it, you're going to be very accurate with it. Um, and you'll pick off people very easily. So, yeah. Um, Arisaka, very good sniper. Um, can be in inconsistent. Um, I get a lot of hit markers with this. And also um, invisible bullets. So when I shoot someone and I don't get the hit marker, I'm like, hmm. That may be with the connection, uh, with the host or whatnot, but I get it a lot, and especially with the Arisaka. Right, the Car 98, which is my favorite sniper in the game, especially without the scope. Um, it's got a good high rate of fire and good damage. Uh, basically, the damage is all the same for all the snipers. You can ignore the damage, all right? Um, the high rate of fire is uh, better than my, better than the rest, I should say. Sorry, mumbling my words. Um, so if you come across a juggernaut, it's going to take two bullets to kill him. And if you get a hit marker on someone else, you can quickly line him up again and finish him off. So no issues with that. A lot of fun to use. Uh, the PTRS, as you can see, it's the only sniper that I use with Bandolier. Uh, this is because I rinse through ammo very quickly. Um, it's very inconsistent. Uh, so normally you're going to miss people and sometimes you're going to hit them <laughs> when you don't, didn't expect to. So um, with stopping power you're going to take a juggernaut out if you hit him above the chest in one bullet. Um, so yeah, um, you get 5 bullets as standard and 10 extra so 15 bullets in total. So the bandolier I would say is needed for that sniper. Uh, these other guys you're going to get 25 bullets as standard. Um, so yep, yeah, bandolier is not going to be needed, so watch your back and use bouncing beddies to get you some cheaper kills and easier kills. Alright, um, third perks, um, you could use, uh, dead, I use dead science, but you can roll with, uh, deep impact or extreme conditioning, well, whatever floats your boat, really, what, whatever you need, or whatever you feel you need to use, so, um, also with the PTRS, you can mix it up. You don't have to use stopping power, but it's good if you come across uh, juggernauts, which you will. You always get one, one or two in each game. You can mix it up with camouflage or sleight of hand. Um, right, what should we move on to? What's next? The rifles. Okay, uh, the SVT, very good weapon. One of the first you unlock. Uh, I would use a flash hider or the apparatus side on it. Um, no issue with that. I can't say anything bad about it. Um, next would be the Gua, the Gewehr, however you want to say it. Um, as you can see, I use Bandolier with it. Uh, stopping power, dead silence. Uh, but with this, I would roll with a Parachusite. I would use a Parachusite on all rifles uh, because the the telescopic scope. You don't you don't need the scope. Trust me. Um, it just ruins it in my opinion. The parachute you'll do better with. Um, perks, bandolier, stopping power, dead silence. But again, you can mix it up. 
go with deep impact or extreme conditioning. Again, it's up to you. Uh, M1 Garand. Uh, you don't see a lot of people using this, and the reason why is the recoil. Um, if you're very aggressive on the trigger and you're like, bah, 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 um, you'll be looking at the sky. So, how you want to be is very gentle, pop, 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 and you'll kill the guy. Just as easy as how I said. <laughs> uh, once you get the sniper scope unlocked, you'll have a lot of fun with it, especially in hardcore. It's just, it's just beasts. Um, as you can tell by the range, it's not maxed out even with the sniper scope. It's not as much as the other snipers. Oh, excuse me. So you will get uh, the occasional. Hmm, I swear I just shot that guy. If you're standing still and your line is shot up and you haven't killed him, the reason is because of the range. It stops, and it's just one of those mysteries of World at War. So with that, I would roll with. Uh, do -do 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 that's the class setup I would use with the M1 Garand sniper scope. All right. If you're not using the sniper scope on it, um, I would either go, yeah, I'll go flash hider, bandolier stopping power, deep impact, extreme conditioning, or dead silence. That's how I would roll. That's what I would use. <coughs> uh, STG44. Uh, very commonly used weapons because it's the only assault rifle in the game. Um, good for hardcore. You'll get a lot of people using that with the flash hider, um, camouflage, dead silence on hardcore. Um, if you're using it in standard mode, go bandolier, double tap, deep impact. And the reason why I say double tap is it can be on even toe or even pegging with uh, the SMGs but the mobility rating is not so good so but back on a double tap use the bandolier and you should have a lot of fun with it if you don't use bandolier and roll stopping power and a paratra sight okay M1A1 Carbine, um, I don't have a lot of experience using this weapon because I've prestiged a lot and you get this at the end of the prestige level so I haven't really used it up until now so I'm not going to bother prestiging and I'm going to have fun with this. Okay, um, I'm finding you don't need the bandolier just of yet and that's my class setup for it right now. Okay, um, yep that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this video on 8 minutes, um, so I'm going to make a part 2, so hopefully that was helpful for you, and I'll see you in part 2. Take it easy guys, peace!